Hello traders, welcome back to Goji FX and this is your boy Goji. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can find high win rate trade setup in every week, either you're a swing trader or a day trader. So watch this video to the end to see how I apply this strategy. If you are new to my channel, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to be notified on the coming videos. Traders, let's get into the video. So there are four key tools that I use and you should be able to understand these tools to be able to use this strategy. The first one is the overall trend of the market. It's the key and the first steps of being on edge with the market. And to identify the overall trend of the market, if you look at our chart, we can see this market has been trending down for a long time. And if you use market strata, which is our second tool that I use, you can see a nice lower high, lower high can see another lower high, lower high forming on this chart. And if you look at market structure, you can see a very nice downtrend structure forming. So this is another key thing you should be able to understand or to know to be able to trade this strategy. So if you look at our current market, we can see that the market is trending to the upside. If you go back and we look at our chart, we can see that around this level, we had the same thing happening whereby market pushed to the downside, we trace and continue to the downside. So as we can see here, you can see that we are seeing the same clear thing here, whereby markets push to the downside and now correcting to the upside and we are expecting a continuation to the downside. So these are some of the important things that you need to understand to be able to trade or use price action trading to trade. Also, if you are using past price action to compare current price action, you can see that when price got to this level, we had price levels like this low here, which was a support, now turned a resistance. We can also see this high and also this low here. So the same thing as you are looking here, if you want to trade this current move, you can see we have a low here. We also have a high here. We also have previous low, which is now coming to 10 resistance. And when markets try to break through this level, what you'll be expecting is a clean high for me here around this level. So we can see that using price action to trade is very easy and also it helps you to be able to understand what is happening in the overall trend and also in the short term of a market. Now that we know this, let's go to the lower time frame and see how you can be able to trade. One tool that can also help us to be able to determine a reversal point in a market structure is using the Fibonacci retracement. And if you look at our Fibonacci retracement and you place on this level, we can see that as price retraced down, it came around the 50 level of retracement level and then shoot to the downside. So if you apply the same strategy to our price here, you can see that as we place our FIB on this level, you can also see price moving the same way within the 50 to 60 level of retracement. And as we said, if price break above this, we are expecting price to push to the upside. But if price tend to consolidate here, we are expecting price moving to the overall trend of the market, which is a downtrend. So this is an easy way of trading. And with this, we'll be able to always trade in the current direction of the market. So now that we know the current direction of the market, which we know that is trading upside, so we see a reversal to the downside, what should we do? We can now go to our lower time frame to identify levels where you want to trade or to look at market structure at that level. So if you look at on the 15 minute time frame, if you want to day trade this, we will be using our fourth tool, which is patience. So patience is very important when you are trading as a new trader or as a developing trader, you should be able to have patience for price to get to levels where you want to trade. So with this, as you look price here, you can see we had an impulse move correction, impulse move correction, impulse move. So what do I expect? I'm expecting price to push the downside if you want to take any buy trade. And if price break and we see another break of structure, what do you expect? We're expecting price to push the downside. And we also have our high at this level whereby our daily time frame is our 50 level of retracement. So these are some of the things that you can add up and help you to trade 
with price action. So we can see that if with this trade, we'll be able to see a breakout, we're we'll expecting a push to the upside around this level. So traders, this is one of the easiest way to find high win trade setups every week with price action and understanding your market structure, your overall trend, and also having patience for price to get to levels where you want to trade. You will see that always trading will be very easy for you. There are also situations whereby you place a trade whereby you tend to lose. And if you look at one of them is this level whereby you can could have placed a trade here and the market would have ripped out or another one, you could have placed a buy trade here and you can see a very strong push to the downside. These are also the situations that happen in the market and we have tools that can help you to be able to see this before happening. So check out my next video. I'll be showing you some tools that can help you to be able to see the overall trend of the market before entering the trade or even before opening your chart to look at what is happening and also be looking at some of the tools that can help you to identify such situations that happen in the market so traders that's all for this video i hope you like it please like and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video